When Florence was admitted to the hospital, and they were running a whole bunch of tests on her, including um, checking for Sophia's heartbeat. I know there's, there were a few times where her heart rate went down, and it was, it was scary. We knew, we both knew that something was wrong at that point. I had a quick glimpse of her. I wasn't able to hold her, wasn't able to kiss her, I wasn't able to see her for five seconds, just a quick split second. That's how severe Sophia's condition was. It looked like she had what we would call an obstruction of her intestines. This is dangerous. I mean, babies that have obstructions uh, of their bowel need to have that obstruction relieved or else the bowel will, will perforate or break open. And as we were working on, on uh, Sophia to decide whether this was an obstruction or just a mass, she actually did perforate that, um, that obstruction. It's almost like glue or cement being dumped around the intestines. Uh, and causing problems. And it became clear within a couple days that, um, that she had more dramatic problems because the hole that had happened in her intestines was still leaking. I don't think that I still really knew exactly what was wrong with her until the doctors came up to the room and explained how serious her condition was. Uh, meconium peritonitis can, it can be quite fatal. And it, uh, if it's not fatal, in infancy, it can lead to fatal problems later on. I had so many dreams of you know, taking her to the football games, taking her to the beach. All that just faded away. I really thought I, I was gonna lose my daughter. We basically waited and waited and waited and let her body heal itself in many ways. We, we temporized the problems with surgery. For us, we needed to first of all, keep Sophia alive while she was critically ill, get her better, and then find a way to give her nutrition and help her grow. Um, I used to put my head next to the incubator while holding her, and at that point, I knew this was gonna be a positive outcome. You know, she, was, she was very strong. Jay and Florence are the most appreciative people I've ever met in my life. They would come in every day to be with Sophia, and just give so much love to her and to everyone that's taking care of her. Um, the Mangabots bonded and became a very, very special family to all of us because they knew how sick Sophia was. We knew how sick Sophia was. We knew at some times that maybe she wouldn't survive all of this. God has blessed us with a great, wonderful team here, supportive and who really cares for Sophia. We knew that there would be an, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. The uh, final correction surgery went fine, and we slowly found a way to feed Sophia and get her, her stomach and her intestines that had not had any food in them for her entire life to actually digest and, and work and help her grow. And she went home actually eating everything. With Sophia's circumstance, it's kind of a funny story in a way. Uh, her bowels were blocked and she wasn't able to make doo-doo. And so the day that she made her first doo-doo, we were all very excited and very happy. I think that was a big turning point for everyone to know that her plumbing worked. <laughs> Today, she's healthy, she's eating, she's active and most importantly, she's happy. The Mangabots went out of their way to become our friends and to, to trust us and to work with us and to not be afraid to ask us the questions that they needed to know the answer to to feel comfortable and trusting. And I think that that played a very, very big role in Sophia's recovery and in our management and care of Sophia. After meeting all these people and becoming really good close friends to them, we um, made a decision and said, you know what, let's stay here in Hawaii, let's make it our permanent residence. I want Sophia to be able to see her aunties and uncles. I want them to see her grow up so that way they could see you know, what their hard work, um, the nurses and the doctors and the surgeons, all their hard work you know, were able to do. Kapiolani has done so much for us, especially for Sophia that anything that we can do to give back and, and give awareness of what this hospital is doing on a daily basis really means a lot to us. Um, you know, they save babies every day. They've saved Sophia. And if 
we could do just a little bit to show awareness and tell people how much this hospital has done for us and a lot of other families, we will do whatever we can.